Well, welcome back to the channel there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, coffee, and more. All right, before we begin, don't forget about that QR code right there. It'll take you to my YouTube, my eBay, and my Instagram page. Let's see what we have today. It is Life with Archie. Number 134, this book was 20 cents back in 1973. There's a few different stories in here, which include the rival, Tiger by the Tail, and there's a little jinx story in here also. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and leave me a co comment. Tell me what you thought about it, okay? Let's get into it. Into the car with him. Thumbs. This kid is valuable. Hey, Archie's in big trouble. They think he's my son. Archie in the rival. Whoops. Hold it, lady. Let me help you across with that cart. Ah, oh, thank you, Sonny. I guess I have reached the stage in my life. I don't venture out too often anymore, but somebody has to get the shopping done. Hold it, mister. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, those female shoppers are a rough bunch. Why don't you let me come along and drive your shopping cart for you? Oh, that would be awfully sweet of you. Frankly, this is the biggest chore of my whole week. You get started, I'll be back before you through the first aisle. Hey, Ron, Archikins, I was on my way to the chocolate shop. Uh, that's what I wanted to see you about. I can't meet you at the chocolate shop today, as I usually do. No? I know it's actually more of a habit than a date, but I still wanted to tell you I wouldn't be there. Gotta run now. Bye. Well, of all the nerve. He may call it a habit, but I call it a date, and he broke it. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, baby, but you've got a rival. Do you always grin like that when you're sorry? Okay, I'll take over now. I don't usually buy too much because the cart gets too heavy for me to push. Well, don't hold back today. Stock up all you want. I'm doing all the heavy work this time. Oh, this is wonderful. Just look at all those goodies. I can't tell you how much this means to a lonely old woman. Why don't we make this a weekly date? I'd be happy to help you out. I can tell by the grin, Jughead, he's with the, uh, that other woman again. You can't win them all, Ronnie. Now, I'm going to split. I don't want to see the confrontation. All right, Casanova. Who is she? Who is the other woman? Huh? Don't play innocent with me, my rival. Who is she? You found out? She said you'd be jealous. Actually, she doesn't play by your old-fashioned rules. She invited me to dinner tonight and asked me to bring you. But, of course, you won't come. Oh, is that so? Well, I can play by any rules or no rules. I accept her challenge. There'll be no rustling on my range. I'm no novice at this game. Huh, is this where she lives? And she dares to compete with the law? And this is my girl, Veronica. Oh, do come in, my dear. I'm so pleased to meet you. Uh, this is a wonderful boy you have here. You better be careful that someone doesn't steal him. Oh, Ronnie doesn't have a jealous bone in her body, do you, sweets? Oop. All right, baseball fans are crazy. Hmm? Archie Club News, Archie Press Pass, and it looks like somebody cut that application out and mailed it in. I hope they got their Press Pass. Tiger by the Tail. Once upon a quiet afternoon as Archie was leaving Veronica's to go home for dinner, in a car with him, Thumbs, this little old rich kid is going to make us make be a real bonanza for us. Not only that geeker, but he's going to make us a lot of money. Like it says back there, what do you do? What do you mean, rich kid? You read, you're the heirloom to the lodge fortune. A person can't be an heirloom, and the only things I'm here heir to are the Andrews mortgage and bills. We're at the dock, Thumbs. I'll get the lodge kid into the boat. And I'll ditch the car, geeker. <clears throat> the lodge kid? Now I get it. Oh, wow, you guys think I'm Mr. Lodge's son. 
Well, we know you ain't his daughter, pal. Mr. Lodge doesn't have a son. Not now, he don't. E Geeker? Nope, we got him. He <laughs> he Up to the cabin, young Mr. Lodge, sir. My name is Archie Andrews. Sure, kid. Your muddle name is your middle name is probably Andrew, right? All them rich kids got lots of names. Now I'm gonna call you daddy, and we're gonna trade you for a lot of loot. Oh boy. Yes, this is Mr. Mr. Lodge. Yes. Uh what? My who? Uh, what? Daddy, sir. Are you all right, sir? Oh, Archie is being held for ransom. Archie? But he's not wealthy. They think he's my son. <laughs> the money doesn't bother me, but the insult. They want a half a million or I'll never see Archie again. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. All right, all right, dear. It was just a daydream. They're going to call back. Meanwhile, back on the island, how many times do I have to tell you Mr. Lodge doesn't have a son? You rich kids got big mouths. Now stifle, clam up, go take a walk or something. A walk, Geeker, he'll get away. To where? This is an island, dummy. He can't go no place without a boat. Duh, okay. I got the keys to the boat, and it's too cold and too far to swim. Golly, Geeker, what a brain. Sigh. Mind if I take some coffee? Help yourself. There's some soup heating, too, if you want some. No, I'll just have the coffee. Hey, Arch, you forgot to turn the burner off. Is it soup yet, Thumbs? I don't know, Geeka. I'll see. Ye sizzle. Ow! You dumb kid. You done this. Get that tube of foist and aid cream out of the bat room. Oh. I'm so sorry, Mr. Thumbs. I didn't mean it. I'll get the cream. I'll get it. Loops, he tripped. Yipe, squirts him in the eyes. He tried to blind me. The tube is empty. The boat, come on, Thumbs. We got a first aid kit in the boat. You go in front, kid. I want to keep my eye on you. I can't see with all that cook in my eyes. It was an accident, honest. I'll get the root out of here so Mr. Geeker doesn't trip. And he steps on his foot anyway. Whoa, bump. Oh, boom. Oh, where'd he go? Thumbs saved me from him. Did, did I do that? Stay here till I get the rope. Under your arms, Geeker. Ouch. I can't do it with my boy in hand. Kid, you'll have to go it alone. Sure thing, Mr. Thumbs. I'll just dry my hands so I can get a better grip. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I'll sleep in the boat until we get the loot, Thumbs. Just keep him away from me. But, Mr. Geeker, we didn't get the first, uh, first aid cream for Mr. Thumbs. Oops. Rock falls down, breaks the boat in half. Thumbs, Mr. Thumbs, where'd you go? I want to apologize. Ahoy there, this is the police. Archie, you all right? You did a fine job, son. You had no idea where to look for you. How in the world were you able to phone the police for help? Uh, I didn't make that call, Mr. Lodge. They did. Uh, protect us. Don't let him near us. I won't feel safe until I hear the prison gate clang shut behind me. They're getting away from Archie. Hmm. Little Jinx, the early bird. Oh, here I am, Greg. Are you waiting long, Greg? No, but congratulations are in order, Little Jinx. This is the earliest you've been late. <laughs> Get it? Archie and last sass. Who's the new chick? I'll find out. Talks to her. She's very friendly. In fact, she wants me to play hide and seek with her. Really? Yeah, she told me to get lost. <laughs> Archie, my boy, I want you to level with me. How can an old establishment figure like me close up at the generation gap a bit? What can I do to uh, get with it? Stop worrying, Mr. Weatherby. You're fine as you are. Most of us kids approve of the gap. Don't listen to him, sir. Can you top this? You were right. Everything today is youth oriented. Of course you want to get you want to get with it. That's where all the action is. You agree? Nobody's more with it than Reggie Mantle. Just put your hand yourself in my hand, sir. You really think you can help? 
Just follow along and I shall reveal the secret. Oh no, Reg, not Mr. Young's, a hairpiece, but I already have one. Face it, sir, these are hairy times. That scrawny little thing is just not today, sir. No? You don't have to go overboard, but you've got just screams of ancient long dead times. Bad as that, eh? Oh my, we do have a challenge here, don't we? Reggie, why don't you knock it off? That's not a hairpiece, sir. That's a museum piece. Get lost, Arch. You're more of an old fuddy-duddy than he is. You really think hair is the answer? Only if you want to keep abreast of the times to be fashionable. Good grief, magnificent. That is you, sir. Great, Mr. Weatherby. You just slammed shut that old gap. Oh, it's a shock. Uh, alone. You two stay here. I think I'd like to face this alone. You'll knock them dead, Mr. Weatherby. Hmm, no reaction at all. Uh, girls, just one moment, please. Hey, run, he get. What have I done? I didn't expect so violent a reaction. Mr. Weatherby's office, quick, he'll protect us. Mr. Weatherby, help. Well, what's wrong, girls? Out in the hall, sir. It was horrible. The, the, the horrid old man with his stupid long-haired wig approached us in the hall. One of those foolish old men trying to recapture his youth. Hmm? Relax, girls. Calm yourselves. I promise you I'll get rid of him. Ah, you can always count on Mr. Weatherby. I feel so secure when he's around. Next best thing to a father. A little gift for you, Archie. But in somewhere, bury it somewhere, will you? I should have listened to you. And keep that idiotic Reggie away from me. Gave it up already, man. Some people just don't want to get with it. People have to be what they are, Reg. It's that simple. What's that, son? Um, you think mom would be interested in a younger man? If she ever stops laughing, we'll ask her. <laughs> the end. Now you can choose a career and get fishing gear for only $12.95. All righty. Well, that was Life with Archie, number 134, 20 cents back in 1973. I hope you enjoyed that little reading. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books. Please hit that like button down below, and please hit that subscribe button down below. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it, okay? And as Papa, Archie, Reg, and Mr. Weatherby always say... That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.